previously on Dating Distant. I feel like there's a lot of things I miss. Hey again. <laughs> What's up? I'm definitely taking notes because all these guys are so different. So I need to know like the things that stick out to me because your girl has standards. Oh yeah, nice to meet you. That's a pretty name. I like that. And when he said my name was pretty, <gasps> so I don't have an Instagram, so if I create one, maybe you can like run in and stuff. Yeah, like. run in. <laughs> I mean, he shot his shot. Theater, I love acting. You have like a very like good yeah. look at that. You know, I like your hair. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. You, you can play a character for sure. What's up, Squad? Oh, are you with me today? I'm like, I got you. I got you. <laughs> what is up, Sasha Squad? We are back with another vid. D O N today. Baby girl, please tell them what we is doing it's on today's. Well, guys, it's episode two of Dating Distant. So if you don't know what's going on, then you need to go back and watch the first episode because, like, right now you're probably like, episode two, what the heck? That was really fast. I know, I talk fast. We want to say thank you so much to everyone who supported the first episode. Y'all was out the roof. You guys showed love. There was people all over the world who watched and voted. We mm -hmm. had people from Zimbabwe, Nigeria. There were everywhere. Literally everywhere you could think of. Because we had so many people around the world, I feel like people actually told their grandma, sisters, uncles, daddy, sisters, uncles, best friend, Rico's uh -huh. daddy, sister. Also, some of the contestants, which you'll find out later on the show, said that they got their whole family and whole people invested. Family, what up? Nice to meet you, family. Hey. So today's episode is obviously very exciting because you guys get to find out who is paired with who. I know you've been on the edge of your seat, just like who the heck is gonna be with who, because you guys all had your predictions, you guys all commented, yeah. your setup and let's just say some of you are right and some of you are wrong that's all we're gonna say not only will you guys find out who has been paired but today we are doing our first distant challenge they're gonna be put to the test <laughs> I'm sorry. And if you're new to this channel, welcome to Burps. I like to call him Burps number one. My sister's Burps number two. <laughs> All right, should we start episode two of Dating Distant? Yeah, I think we should just get right into it. All right, then let's get to it. <laughs> Alright you guys, so we have all the contestants here with us live in full effect. How is everybody feeling right now? Good. Doing well, feeling nervous. I'm doing good. Doing good. <laughs> Who's like not nervous? Silence. All right, so first we are going to start off with Sean. Do you feel like you kind of had like an instant connection with Carly? Yeah, I think so. Great. <laughs> I'm like super nervous. My heart's beating really quickly. Right? No. <laughs> you thought that you had an instant connection with Carly. The viewers thought. Hey, okay. let's go. There we go. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> super happy. Super excited. Talking to Carly just felt the most natural to me. And I'm glad the viewers picked up on that as well. Could not be happier right now. Like genuinely so happy. There couldn't be a better result. And I'm just so excited to like get to know Sean more. But also just like do these challenges with him and like learn to work together as a team. Okay, so next up we're going to talk to Michaela. I didn't think it was going to be me. I, I thought it was going to be later. <laughs> okay, so Michaela, you actually had the most votes, you and your partner. Y'all you racked in a lot of votes. You guys had 1,408 votes. Wow. Yeah, so you're okay. leading the pack. <laughs> Michaela, your partner is. <laughs> it's not dating distant anymore. Yeah. For, it's more like dating in the same neighborhood. Around the corner. <laughs> We saw it coming, me and Josh. He was kind of like shy in the beginning, but the more that I got to talk to him, his personality really started to come out. So that's something I'm super excited to like dig more into. This should be very exciting because like the more I get to talk to her, the more I realize how cool, how genuine, and how outgoing of a person she is, so. Malia, hi, how are you? Good, I'm freaking out. You and your partner racked in 843 votes. And do you want to know something crazy? You and Kia were actually separated by 15 votes for the same exact guy. I hate this, bro. Yeah. Oh my God. Are you ready to find out who your partner is? <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. You're about to find out, and then two other people are about to find out right. as well. Everyone's so we have out. Malia and Kia, and then we got Carter and George. Are y'all ready? Malia, the viewers thought that you should be paired with Let's go! Gang, <laughs> gang! Okay. I don't know 
really know what else to say. Malia is like obviously dope, great personality, beautiful. I love the new braids, that's a vibe. I actually got to talk to her a little bit off camera too. So I got to know like a little, about, a little bit about her music taste, which we have like a lot in common with. Downloaded one of her playlists. This is about to be the dynamic duo and we're just getting started. So y'all better not sleep on us. Team Carlia, let's go, let's get it. <laughs> George and Kia, how are y'all feeling? I'm so nervous, like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel good about it. I feel like we had a good connection, a solid connection the entire time. It was just, it just flowed, you know? I actually had a feeling that the viewers were gonna match me with Kia. Our conversation the first time was very smooth, very natural, you know, nothing was forced, nothing got awkward. I think they saw that connection we had. I just got paired with George. Hey. Get ready, y'all. I kind of saw it come in. I read the comments. I saw everyone voting for us. I'm excited though. So now that everyone has your partner, you guys, this is your partner for the rest of the show. Y'all gotta come up with strategies. Y'all trying to win too at the end of the day. Figure out who's the brands of the relationship. Figure out the weaknesses, strong suits, because today you guys are gonna be doing your first distant challenge. And uh, yeah, that's all I really got. <laughs> Y'all doing your first distant challenge. So after the couples got officially paired, they got to go on their first date as a couple. And I was like over here smiling so hard, you guys. It was so cute. Like each and every one of them was just like vibing and connecting in a new and different way. I feel like someone's gonna get married. Wow, okay. <laughs> like hey. I, feel, I feel like these relationships, like I literally feel like one or four of them could work out forever. Defo, defo. Defo, defo. First impression from getting on the phone with you the first time. Yeah. It was like we had a really interesting conversation and like you said, it wasn't dull at all. Reading the comments and seeing like what they were calling you, I'm like, hold up. I see y'all pairing me with him, but y'all still calling him Flirty J. So what's that? <laughs> he don't do that. So overall, I'm looking forward to getting to know you more. We gonna see how this goes. So everybody thinks I'm a flirt, I'm just gonna say. Not, not flirty. All right, now he said he's not, y'all. He said he's not. Yeah, there you go. Come on, tell it. I knew you that you weren't a cat person, so I wanted to introduce somebody to you that I have here. I just got her. This is a very big moment. You right? introducing me to somebody already? Introducing you to somebody already. I'm, meet, I'm meeting the family. Here she is. Look. She is so cute. <laughs> look at that little face. Her name is Luna. So. I'm gonna adopt her from you. No, you're gonna be there with me. What do you mean? <laughs> you can't adopt her. You're gonna be there. That with was me. that was a trick question. Cause she's cute, like and I love to cuddle with her. Yeah, she's cute like you. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> when I was reading the comments, y'all, y'all was calling him Flirty J. Let's just say that I'm gonna be the one to change that. Y'all hear me? I'm gonna be the one to change that. George bringing the puppy into the game just shifted everything. I ain't gonna hold you up. That was a smooth move, bro. I just wanna say, if like I had just started talking to a guy and then he all of a sudden got a really cute puppy, I would be like, oh, now you're cute, cute. I didn't have that, so but, was I cute, cute already? You, ready? Yeah, you were cute, cute. I didn't have a puppy. You didn't need anything extra. Thank you. You're welcome. I kinda wanted to know like what your ambitions are. For me right now, I'm at a place like where I just want to be healthier, like mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. So there's been so many times where I've like have goals and certain things like set in place, still feeling super disconnected to me. And so I think just trying to be healthier, like when I need to take a step, step back, doing so, trying to cook and eat healthier, you know, all that plays a part. Yeah, I uh, been just kind of focusing on my patterns, like the things that like maybe a little self-deprecating or you know the things that like actually kind of push me to do the things that i want to do and that's kind of been like meditating a little bit and you know listening to podcasts that uplift me but also challenge me i saw this tweet i think it said um everyone's toxic you just have to be aware of it and so it just really shifted my perspective because in reality we're all you know taught different things and like we practice certain habits and even how you said like there are certain things that like you've been doing and you know you want to change like i i've been noticing even habits that i have i'm like yikes like those aren't good character traits <laughs> it's a lot but it's good i'm like okay i'm woke i'm woke and aware okay let's say if we go on a first date what are we gonna do uh i think the beach honestly i think the beach is yes. probably the, the easiest and it's free so I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? I don't know. I think I think I'm an extrovert. I like I get this question, but, but I like enjoy being by myself. You right. know what I mean? I would say I'm both. Like, can you be both? I don't know. I know there's a word for it. I just can't think of it. Oh, 
I think it's Amberbird. I think yeah, that's that is it. it. I was gonna Watch say, we're I both wrong. That. It's not that. <laughs> Team Carlia might shock the world. Carlia crew. Carlia crew. Woo! Are you guys about to make a YouTube channel, or Carlia? are you about to make a YouTube channel? Ooh, the Carlia crew. We just we just did that. If you're a part of the Carlia crew, <laughs> comment below. That's a tongue twister. Carlia crew. Carlia crew. Carlia. Crew. <laughs> First impression, that's something that I'm definitely uh, curious about. I noticed that like you were very outgoing. You weren't shy to talk at all. And you have a great smile and I noticed like I just noticed now that your eyes are beautiful. Blue and, like I love them. Thank <laughs> you. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Initially I was like, okay, I think he may be kind of shy. But the more <laughs> that I talk to you, I was like, he has a personality too. So that's <laughs> one thing that I'm so excited because I know that they're gonna get to see that side of you as well. And then you also have a great smile. Like Thank I was you like, so okay, much. he's cheesing and it's a cute little cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Your personality is really just gonna like flourish and they're not even ready for it but i'm excited so i want to know what you are passionate about uh, my mom she's been my superhero for the past 21 years of my life it's been hard because like she's a single mom and i know what she goes through so mm -hmm. like i wake up every morning and try to like you know do it for her make sure like she said you know what they say about boys who treat their mamas good they uh, treat their girls good too also, shout out to all the single moms. I love y'all. Y'all are doing amazing things. Said you like cooking, so I want to know what is your favorite thing to cook? So my favorite dish is probably steak, lobster, and mac and cheese. I do this rarely because like it's, uh, it's kind of expensive. I might just have to try that little mac and cheese steak combo. <laughs> Now, Michaela and Josh, they got the most votes out of everybody. You shipped them so hard. I hate that I said you ship. Shipped them on the Titanic. <laughs> well, no, that sunk. Uh, Carnival Cruise. Well, I wanted to know what your like first impression of me was. Well, I noticed your eyes first. Really? For sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm like super into like blue eyes. And when I saw your eyes, I was like, they're beautiful. Oh, thank um, you. And then you're actually able to like hold a conversation and yeah. you actually like seemed interested in what I was saying. Texting Josh afterwards uh -huh. and I was like, yeah, I mean, I already know Carly's <laughs> it. But I still wanted to text you yesterday just yeah. in case we weren't paired together that like I still wanted to like get to know you more regardless of so whatever outcome it was. And then just FaceTiming with you last night. You got to see my parents' house. Before I, most, before most. No, that was quick. Days. I know we had our second date within like 30 seconds, and then yeah. I'm already seeing your parents' house. <laughs> I just need to like, fly out to New York City and pull a Josh and Michaela or something. I, for real. My parents were like super obsessed with this like the entire week, and then I remember my mom texting me. She's like, "Yeah, I, te I voted for you and Carly like 25 times. Your dad's at work, but I'm making sure he's he's voting as well." Oh my well. god, I'm already um, in for mom. <laughs> yeah. See, look at this, this is crazy. So I had like the entire family on board as well. Uh, My whole family voted for you too. Now, I love the fact that Carly and Sean are like on the opposite side <laughs> of the country. Yeah, they are. But like- The connection doesn't say that. At all. Mm -mm. I want their families to meet. I do too, and I just want to say, Josh and I, when we did long distance, we're on opposite sides, and so, I was shooting my shot from the other side of the country. I'm still shooting my shot, honestly. Fellas, if I can give you some advice, shoot your shot every day with your girl. Even if you're married, just shoot your shot. You better keep pursuing your girl is what I'm saying. So I'ma keep shooting my shot, so let me shoot my shot. You look amazing in this color. Thank you glowing you. in this color. Thank you. I just did an alley-oop to myself. I just shot my shot heavy, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, you guys, so right now, we're going to introduce the first distant challenge. You want to tell them the name? I'm excited. Yeah, guys, Josh created the name, so it kind of like fits him more, but um, it's the what you know about it. For me, I would say, what do you know about it? But for him, it's the what you know about it. The what you know about it quiz. Basically, where we just gonna ask you questions and we're gonna see what you know about it. What you know? <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the emergency. <laughs> 
going to have 11 questions. And before each question, I will announce what subject it is. When I announce that, you two will have a few seconds to deliberate who you think could answer the question better. That person will have to answer the question and can have no help from your partner. So this is kind of like a big moment of trust because you have to decide like quickly who's gonna know more about that subject. At the end of the challenge, the person with the most points will get an extra 150 votes that may or may not save them from elimination. And if there's a tie, we'll split the votes up between the couple. So the first subject is random knowledge. First question is, what would you use this object for? To recline in a chair, to loosen a screw, to shift a car into a different gear or to open a window? Um, I would say to recline the chair. Okay. Oh, for the window, for the, in the car. Oh, great. Roll a window up, roll a window up. <laughs> car window. Car window? To open a window, bam. Is that your final answer? No, to open a window. <laughs> All right, what y'all doing? Is y'all yeah, cheating you over are, there? You're like speaking to I each saw other. some. The next subject is solar systems. How many planets are in our solar system? Okay, I'm gonna say eight. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, eight. Oh no, there's eight, there's eight. Eight. All right, the next question, the subject is sports. Which of the following is a perfect score in bowling? 225, 275, 300, or 350? 300. Ooh. Mm. 350, 300, 350, 350, 350, 350, 300. I'm gonna go with 300 though. The next subject is TV. Friends, The Office, and Parks and Recreation were all on which channel? NBC, ABC, CBS, or Fox? ABC. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do CBS. CBS, ABC. ABC, no, NBC, ABC, ABC. NBC. The next question, the subject is logos. I'm gonna show you two logos and you have to choose which is the correct logo. Which is the correct logo for Chick-fil-A? Oh, I'm the wrong person to ask this to. <laughs> the the C-H-I-C. My goodness gracious, Jesus. This is the Lord's food. I don't think there's a K in it. I think it's just the one with the C because that's like a thing, I think. So I'm gonna go with the one without the K. Um, I'm gonna go with C-H-I-C. Why, why the one on the left look cleaner? Hold on. No, but it's got a K. It, it is a K, right? Yeah, it's a K, so it's the one on the left. All right, the next subject is numbers. Three quarters, 12 dimes, and 12 nickels equal what? 255. That boy doing math, just, it's just twingling in the head. 255. I got the individual numbers. Okay, I think, I think it's, wait, let me see one more time. Ah, I think it's 255. 85 or 95, $2, $2.05, 255. The subject for this one is TV. Which media company is represented by this distinctive yet simple logo? I wanna say history, but I don't remember what history looked like so much. History Channel. Ooh, wait, I think it's, no, it's National Geographic. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, 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 no. I think, I think it's the History Channel. It's between the History Channel and National Geographic. History Channel, that's what I'm going with. That's a good one. History Channel, Nat Geo. Nat Geo. Next subject, we are back at logos. Which is the correct logo for JCPenney? J-C-P-E-N-N-Y. Oh, it's the one on the right. My goodness gracious, this one letter off, and I, this is just a lot for me. I'm gonna go with the, oh I'm gonna go with E-Y. Okay, um, the one on the right, E-Y. Okay, the subject for this next one is spelling. Okay. Which is the correct spelling for the word correspondence? Whose idea was this? What kind of word correspondence? Okay. E-N-C-E. C-O-R-R-E-S-P-O-N-D-E-N-C-E. -E. So C-O-R-R-E-S-P-O-N-D-E-N-C-E. -E. I'm gonna go with the third one. C-O-R-R-E-S-P-O-N-P-O-N-D-E-N-C-E. -E. 
All right, the next subject is sports. Which American sports team uses this logo? Panthers, the Detroit Lions, the Jacksonville Jaguars, or the Nashville Predators? The Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions. Oh, the Detroit Lions. The last question, the subject is TV. Name 10 Disney Channel shows in 20 seconds. Go. Hannah Montana, That's a Raven, Proud Family, um, Kim Possible, uh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Um, I can't think. Jonas Brothers, uh, uh, Naked Brothers Ben. Uh, um, Time is up! That's what Ravens, we like Zach and Cody, Hannah Montana, um, ah, Rad Black, <laughs> okay, wait, uh, Lab Rats, um, I, ah, I can't do this! I can't, am I still, are you still doing it? Five seconds. Shut up, bro. I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Hannah Montana, the Jonas, no, 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 hold on. Um, wait, oh God, oh my God. Hannah Montana. Um, y'all, I'm not good under pressure. Oh my, oh my Lord, I just lost. I'm so sorry, Michaela. Hannah Montana, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, um, Sweet Life on Deck, Kim Possible, Phineas and Ferb, um, That's So Raven. Uh, um, uh, Phil, Phil the Future. Um, so as you guys just saw, we have a tie with the first distant challenge. We have Malia and Carter and Carly and Sean. This is their first time seeing this too. That's very true. So congrats. So we're gonna split those votes up. So 75 and 75 extra votes, which may help them in the elimination. Yeah, that could save you. Like the, t the voting was so tight it was. in the other round. So that could. I'm losing it. It's okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm you need good. to go get some Chipotle? Yeah. I think you should keep that in there. I like it. It was a real moment. The votes were very close in the last round, so who knows what it'll be in, in this elimination. Anything can happen. So last week, you guys loved the girls' room, just getting all the girls together and just kind of them throwing around how they feel. Hey, the fellas' room is coming. Don't, yeah. don't, 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 don't get us twisted. But the like fellas the, gonna have a room. The girls are just like, we're more fun and we have like more things and more tea to spill. I've never like used tea to spill. I've never said spill the tea. I've never said that. That was my first time. I'm feeling hip. Yeah, I'm yeah, like we're really, cool. I'm really cool and trendy. Obviously, you guys know because I texted you um, that me and Sean had like an hour conversation last yeah, night. Yeah, he did. I was just like really happy that I got to actually like talk to him outside of this because there was like so mm -hmm. much pressure. I yeah. actually was able to talk with Josh. So you know how we talked about how I thought he was kind of shy and I was not sure because my personality was like big, you know. When I talked to him on the phone, totally different. Yeah. Really? Like his personality is like big That's and true. he like has never dated anyone before. Wow. Oh, so that, that's so like meant to be for you guys. That's like wow. on the table. Yes, I, I, for sure. I was like, wait, you never had a girlfriend? Like I never had a boyfriend. So George and I was actually on the phone today before we started filming. And we were just like talking about how he's making me the mother of his puppy, Luna. <laughs> We're still getting in the groove of getting to know each other. We only had one little conversation, which was about like 15 minutes. But overall, I think he's really cool. I see that he was only kind of like playing um, a hard to get kind of type, I believe. We're gonna see if this is, you know, he's gonna work on it. Cause if he works on it, then, you know, this is this is gonna progress. Flirty J still in the building. Flirty J is not a thing anymore, girl. <laughs> he better simmer down. <laughs> And it went so good. I was more of myself. I felt like more okay about it. Um, but he told me that like he actually like looked at my playlist. Music is my love language. So I was like, okay, like we can move forward. And just it was just really um just genuine. Also, I forgot to tell y'all, Josh, he's loving Jesus the same way I am. And y'all I know love that. Yes, I was we like love that. particular. 
Okay, so why? What are these my host hands? I do this a lot and I do this a lot and I don't know why I do this. So the elimination begins now. You guys have the opportunity to go click on the link in the description and go vote for your favorite couple. The couple with the least amount of votes in the next episode will be getting eliminated. It's so sad. It's actually really sad. I know. I don't. I don't They're want this to happen. They're all so cool. I wanted like, to get it. I want there to be a spot. A, a five? I can't. I you got it. Well, I think that there's a tie. I didn't even think about that. I didn't think about that either. Okay, we'll figure that out. <laughs> your favorite couple could go home unless you vote. So make sure that you're voting and get your friends to vote, get your fam to vote, get your daddy, uncle, sister, sister. brother, cousin, dog walkers. <laughs> <laughs> voting is open for the next three days. So Wednesday is the last date to get your vote in. It's open right now. Like yeah. right this second, you can go click on the link click and it, it's open. It, it. Guys, don't forget to follow us on IG because we'll be posting a ton of updates there throughout the week before the next epi. Also, you guys Guys, comment down below some challenge ideas. Some what's some challenges that you guys want to see them do distance. We love you guys and we will see you on Friday for the next episode of Dating Dish. <laughs>